Well, we got a little something different today. On the boiling point, we've got Scott Lynch, president of the American Boiler Manufacturers Association with us. We're gonna be interviewing him a little bit about Boiler 2022. Looking forward to being with you. Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware and this is Scott Lynch, president of the American Boiler Manufacturers Association. We've had Scott on the show before, brought some good information, but man, we've got some great stuff that's coming up that he wanted to share. What we try to do is get the content for our viewers that can help them in the boiler world, whether they are, they are a salesman or a technician, um, an operator or whatever it is. So. Uh, Scott, welcome. Glad well, you're here. Th thanks for thanks for having me, and I'm really excited to share some of the things that we're doing to um, go beyond the manufacturers to engaging the whole boiler supply chain. Now we've been a member for uh, not sure how many years, but it's been a long time. Yeah, I, say I, I, I think you were, you're coming up at least on 25 say, years, or maybe longer than that. Yeah. yeah. So super organization and. Um, you know, something that uh, we look forward to every year is to get with a bunch of boiler professionals, the best of the best, um, to be able to just collaborate ideas and also to get some good technical stuff as well that you all provide, as well as just some industry things for, from, an, from the uh, economy. I mean, we, you have exactly. a, you, you've got uh, the guys at ITR that actually work with us. So, mm -hmm. yeah, tell us a little bit about that. And so, you know, we've always been an organization that's really been focused on the manufacturer and the supplier to the industry, and bringing together the boiler industry has been what we're known for. Uh, c coming together on issues that we deal with maybe on the D D Department of Energy or the EPA, but also coming together to try to solve issues, like big issues, like the you know, employment issues and, mm -hmm. and trying to recruit people into the industry. We have a scholarship program, and but we knew that there was more that we could do. And, um, you know, we recently, uh, uh, when we did our last strategic plan, agreed that we want to be engaging the whole boiler supply chain. How can we be better at educating and engaging the end users of our products, the consultants to the industry? And uh, that's really where we're going as an organization to be more than just the Manufacturers Association, right. but to be looking at how can we, we, we grow the, the reach of the boiler industry and how we can, um, we can also engage the, the end users of our products. Right, and, and actually though, we're not a manufacturer. Right, and that's so, right. So there's many out there that could yes. be potential members. Right. So maybe just so, talk about what so, you're looking yeah, for. So the way we look at it is that we look at the suppliers to the industry being supplying materials, supplying services, supplying, you know, anything that works within the boilers. So mm -hmm. the rental companies, are, you know, are members of the organization. We also have people that are consultants to the industry that are members of the organization. Uh, you know, people that are working directly with an end user on, pro on projects, they can be a member of the organization. We have people that, um, that actually deal with the recruitment. Mm -hmm. So we, we have companies that do that. We have a company that, we have companies that also deal with the, the, um, the delivery of the boiler. So, yeah. so we transportation companies. So yeah. it, it, and then we also, of course, have like burner companies, control <laughs> companies. Really, pretty much if it's in the boiler room, uh, we, th those components are a part of our organization. Okay. And the one thing that, that's been you know, eye-opening to me is that all these projects take a lot of time and effort to come together. Yeah. And as you can even see behind us, this is not just one manufacturer behind no. us. There's a whole lot of people, that, and what we are able to do is kind of bring all those pieces together in our organization mm -hmm. to kind of talk about how the industry advances. Yeah, yeah, many of those are all AVMA members yeah, actually that are right. back here. Yep. So yep. it's awesome. Well, that kind of brings us to what you're excited to, to come here and talk a little bit about and, yeah. and something new that you guys are actually doing. So maybe just chat about yeah, that. Yeah, so uh, the, the ironic thing is that I think uh, it was January of uh, 2020, right before the pandemic yes. hit, that we announced a new sh a new event that we were uh, launching called Boiler 2021. Well, that's now Boiler 2022, <laughs> but uh, and uh, it was a way to kind of say, can we can we do more to, like I said before, educate the end users and the supply chain, uh, and engage them in having a dialogue about you know the new technologies, um, uh, changes that are going on in the industry, focus on energy efficiency, decarbonization, you know, and and also have those people that are coming learn all about the boiler industry. Mm. Our members go to a lot of shows and they do a lot of exhibiting, but there's not the opportunity to educate 
those people on boilers. It's right. more about your, your, your exhibiting and they're going to come to your exhibit. Mm -hmm. But we're actually going to, going to take deep dives into educational sessions on water treatment, educational sessions on decarbonization, um, SCR systems, mm -hmm. you know, all of those, all those areas where we think that we can help an end user mm -hmm. uh, run a more efficient boiler room and hopefully, and maybe even bring more resources to them as well. Yeah. So that, so the goal of the show is that we have we have 78 manufacturers right now that are exhibiting. We're almost sold out. We only have a couple of exhibits left. Right, right. And and if you you know when you have an organization that has about 120 members and and eight, almost 80 of them are exhibiting, well, they, you can tell there's a desire from the manufacturer side to want to be a part of this, and yes. th and they think that there's a value add there, and that's what we're trying to bring to the table. I mean, and this is kind of the who's who of the boiler industry right. that are going to be there. Yes, I mean, exactly. You know, the yeah. list is pretty yeah. impressive. Yeah, and if you go on to boiler2022.com, uh, there is a, all the logos are sitting right on the front page because we know that's what's going to bring people. It's, it's, not, it's not ABMA that's going to bring people. Right. It's the manufacturers that are in the room mm -hmm. that people know and, and have heard about um, and, can, and you can talk to them about what are the new technologies. You know, and I, I, I really reflected on this too recently. You know, one thing that we've been missing a lot is that interaction over the last couple of years, right? Mm -hmm. The face-to-face -face interaction hasn't right. really occurred. Right. So I think that there are a lot of people out there who maybe really don't know what's going on in the boiler industry the last couple of years because they really haven't connected with the industry. Mm -hmm. This is an opportunity to come to our event and connect with all these people all together. Yeah. You walk the show, 80 different manufacturers of all the different products in the boiler room you're gonna, it's like a one-stop shop for you. Well, we typically are a part of the show. Right, When exactly. all the other tro right. shows that we go right. to, we're just a part of the right. show. So this right. is really a, a focus for the boiler room, right. like you said, or even out steam out into yes. you know, the manufacturing. Right, right, but I would say that like, if you're an operator, if you're a boiler engineer and then mm. user, um, if you're a boiler technician, you're gonna come to this show and that's what we're gonna focus on. So every, every session is gonna be relevant to you, sure. right? Sure. And every and every exhibit is going to have some relevance to you. Now, obviously, we have boilers from the really large scale to the smaller, you know, yep. smaller hot, hot water boilers. So it might not be the exact uh, sector for everybody. Right. But everybody there is there for the same purpose. Sure. And, it's, and it's not like a big HVAC show where there's 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 boilers, but then there's a whole bunch of other things. Yeah. It's really just going to be focused on that.